and welcome to our fourth lesson on probability. Today's lesson we're going to look at probability with Venn diagrams, but before we begin, let's recap how to use sample space diagrams. So do you want to try this question here? And by pausing the video and you can unpause it when you're ready. Okay, so we have two spinners, spinner A and spinner B. We're going to write down all the possible outcomes. And like we learned last lesson, we can do this through a sample space diagram, which looks like a two-way table. So on the top, we have spinner A, and on the side, we have spinner B. On spinner A, we can have the outcomes 1, 3, 4, and 5. On spinner B, we can have the outcomes 1 and 2. What is the probability? that Georgia gets a total of 5. So a total of 5 means we're going to add up the two numbers on each spinner. So a 1 on spinner A and a 1 on spinner B gets you a total of 2. And then a 3 and a 1 gets you a total of 4. A 4 and a 1 gets you a total of 5. A 5 and a 1 gets you a total of 6. If we get a 2 on spinner B, we have 1 and a 2, which is 3. 2 and a 3, which is a 5, 2 and a 4, which is 6, and 2 and a 5, which is 7. What is the probability that Georgia gets a total of 5 on both spinners? Well, there are 8 outcomes in total, and 2 of them have a total of 5. 2 out of 8, which simplifies to make 1 quarter. Okay, so let's move on to Venn diagrams. It's a good way to see. What outcomes can fall in one category but not the other, or can overlap two categories? In a math class of 32 students, 20 choose to study maths at A level, 14 choose statistics, and 6 choose maths and statistics. Draw a Venn diagram to represent this information. So we know our universal set, which we call epsilon, has 32 students. 20 of them chose maths. So within this oval here we have 20 people. 14 choose stats which means in this oval here we have 14 and 6 choose maths and stats. So this is when they overlap and this is where you can choose both. This is called the intersection. That's the key word for today's lesson. And this is denoted with this symbol. To go back to the question, 20 choose to study maths at A level. Well, in this oval, there are 20, but we know there are six in the intersection. So there must be 14 in the other bit. This means, 14 choose maths, but not stats. And moving on to the stats. 14 choose stats, but we know six of them also chose maths. So that would be 14. Take away the six. Our two ovals form what is called a union. And this is denoted with this symbol. So in our union, we have 28 people. But our universal set, has 32 people, so we know four of them fall outside of the union. We can use this to find the probability that a student chooses to not study A-level maths. Well, if they chose to not study A-level maths, they must be in this area. But they could also be outside of the union. So that would be eight and four, which is 12. That is 12 people out of 32, and that simplifies to make 3 over 8. Find the probability that a student chooses to study both subjects. Well, to study both subjects, that would be our intersection when they overlap. And that would be 6 out of 32. Divide both by 2, and you get 3 over 16. A student chooses neither A-level stats nor maths. So that means that they must fall outside of our union. And that would be 4 
people out of 32. And we can simplify that fraction, which gives us 1 8. Okay, do you want to try this question? 100 planes landed at Gatwick Airport in a five hour period. 40 other planes were from America. 20 other planes were late, including 5 planes from America. Can you draw the Venn diagram to represent this information? You want to pause the video and resume it when you are ready. Ok, so we know now our 100 people in total. That as this is our universal set. 40 other planes were from America. So this oval must contain 40 planes. 20 planes were late, including 5 planes from America. And these 5 planes would be from both. And we know there are 20 planes that were late. So this oval for late must be 5 and 15. And we know 40 other planes were from America. So this must be 35. And in our union, we have 55 planes, which means 45 planes were not from America and not late. And that goes outside of our union. Find the probability that the plane was not from America. Do you want to try this by pausing the video and resuming it when you're ready? Okay, so not from America. Well, it has to fall outside of this oval, which would be the 15 out of the 45, which would be 60 out of 100, which is 3 fifths. Find the probability that the plane was on time and from America. And this means that they were not late, which means they were on time, and they would have been from America which is the intersection between the two, that is 5 out of 100, which is 1 20th. Given that the plane was from America, can you calculate the probability the plane was on time? Do you want to try this question by pausing the video and resuming it when you're ready? So given that the plane was from America, this changes our sample size to now out of 40 planes, because 40 planes were from America. And it was on time, which means they could not have been late. So that would be the five planes that were on time, and that means one eight. Okay, so Epsilon means that this is our universal set. These are the outcomes that fall in the oval A. This is set A. And these are the outcomes that fall in set B. Can you complete the Venn diagram to represent this information? Do you want to pause the video and resume it when you're ready? So we'll begin by identifying intersecting values with A and B, which is the 4 and the 4. The 9 and the 9. So we've taken care of these two values. 1, 5, and 8 fall in set A but not in set B. 2 and 7 fall in set B but not in set A. So we have 1, 5, and 8, 4 and 9, 2 and 7, which means. 3 and 6 fall outside of our union. A number is chosen at random. Find the probability that the number is in the set A intersecting with B. Do you want to try that question by pausing the video and resuming it when you're ready? So, A intersecting with B. There are two outcomes that fall in this category which are here. So out of the nine outcomes in total, two of them fall in the intersection. So this is the probability. Okay, so here's our challenge question. There are 120 students at a music. There are 120 students at a music school. 
Eight of his students play the piano and guitar only. Twelve of his students play the guitar and drums only. Thirty-two of his students play the piano and drums only. And ninety-two of his students in total play the piano. Sixty-six of his students in total play the guitar. And forty of his students play all three. That's given here. Try to complete the Venn diagram by pausing this video and resuming it when you're ready. So, we know eight of the students play the piano and guitar only. That would be here. Twelve of the students play the guitar and drums. And 32 of the students play the piano and drums. 92 of the students play the piano, which means this oval must add up to 92. So that would be 92 take away the 40, the 32 and the 8. So that would be 12 people left. 66 of the students in total play the guitar. The 66 take away the 8, take away the 40, take away the 12. So that would be 6 people left. And out of a total of 120, that would be 120 take away the 12, the 8, the 6 the 32, the 40, and the other 12. So that will leave 10 people. Given that the student plays the guitar, find the probability that this student also plays the drums. So do you want to try this by pausing the video and unpausing it when you're ready? So given that the student plays the guitar, well, that is a total of 66 people. And they also play the drums. Well, that would be the guitar and the drums, which is 12. But it could also be drums and piano. So that would be 52 out of the 66, which is 26 out of 33. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Next lesson will be on set notation. Thanks again and take care.